we often talk about memory loss as old age, we shouldn't have it. But a big correlation between oral health and flossing and preventing oral disease is keeping a healthy hippocampus and a good long-term memory. April is National Oral Health Month. Bryce Wild, one of Canada's leading alternative health experts, says clinical evidence shows a connection between gum, heart and brain health. And believe it or not, if I told you just by flossing 60 to 90 seconds every day, you will improve and your odds will improve against developing cardiovascular disease, uh, stroke, uh, brain disease, and for that matter, actually preventing diabetes. Wild notes from their omnibus study, only 37% of Quebecers say they floss daily, and only 41% realize there is a connection between oral health and heart health. 72% of Canadians, through the survey that we did of over 1,500 across the country, are either too busy, too lazy, or don't think there is a correlation to heart and brain disease. Wild demonstrated what can happen to one's heart and brain if they they don't take care of their gums and mouth. What there is within the teeth is a lot of capillary beds, a lot of vasculature, okay? And in that vasculature, of course, there's blood. That's gonna go throughout the system into the heart. Then the heart takes this bacteria and literally pumps it to the rest of the body. Bacteria don't stay in the mouth. They go everywhere and the heart is what delivers it. And when the heart's delivering it, it often ends up happily lodging into the brain, unfortunately. In his most recent paper, Wild provides a concrete checklist for people to follow. A lot of peer-reviewed journals that show uh, that the connection from the mouth to the brain is related to a few different bacteria. Uh, one we've heard of before, P. gingivalis. Uh, P. gingivalis actually releases certain enzymes, believe it or not, in the mouth, not the good ones, bad ones, that cause inflammation. Bacteria that sit there can translocate, which is just a fancy term for move from the oral cavity into general circulation, make their way through the cardiovascular system, they float around in your blood, and then deposit into the heart. Wild hopes Montrealers will become more health conscious when managing their dental hygiene and of their overall health and care. If I gave you a, a little flosser pick and I said, by doing this 60 to 90 seconds a day, this may change the day you die. This may prevent leaky mouth, <laughs> is what I call it. Would you do it, is the question. And I hope that most Canadians would, after hearing this, say, Absolutely. In Montreal, Dehostini Hastir, City News.